Lampard in the red trunks comes out against John Van Elteren from Holland, who's sporting a bushy walrus moustache. Quite the best facial hair I've seen for some time on a boxer. And so Pyatt tonight getting an unexpected chance to challenge for this European Line Middleweight Championship in London. He had expected to go to Rome next week to meet another man, Saeed Skuma. And this might not go very far. Elton over. He hung on a long time under the legs of Pyatt after that punch, but he had to go in the end. And he's lifting his eyebrows. The referee saying, no, 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 I wasn't really hurt. He would take it from me, he was. Uh, Van Alteren is all over the place. He doesn't know where he is. Looking to his corner, looking at the referee. The legs have gone. One good punch from Chris Pyatt might finish this. So the Dutchman, in all sorts of trouble, and takes another thundering right hand. Just over a minute gone. This could be a very, very fast title fight indeed. A standing count, compulsory count, of eight against John Van Elteren of Holland, who's also cut now in the corner of the left eye. So Pyatt seizing his chance here. That'll do. Left hand. What a tremendous swinging left that was. He'll never go on from that, and neither should he be allowed to. He's up at eight. All over, counted out on his feet. All over in one minute and 38 seconds, I make it. A tremendous win for Chris Pyatt, the European light middleweight champion, British champion, and now European, in one minute and 38 seconds. What a triumph for the young man from Leicester. I've got Alan Minte, hardly had a chance to talk to Alan. What about that? Excellent, wasn't it? Um, Pyatt came out. I mean, he done everything right. He came out and threw plenty of punches. Excellent start. New European champion. He must be. He must be absolutely over the moon. To be fair, I don't think. I don't think the opposition was really anything at all. Anyway, let's have another look and see how it all happened. He had him uh, from the moment he hit him in the first uh, few seconds. Now that was the end. That sweeping left hand. He did actually beat the count, but it was uh, there was no way he was going to be allowed to go on. Worth looking again at this tremendous punch. Look at that. And wide open to it. I think it's fair to say that uh, he really wasn't the class Van Alteren of a European challenger and perhaps shouldn't have been in there. He should never have fought uh, Pyatt, Harry. I mean, um, he was definitely outclassed. Um, Pyatt done what he had to do. He's now the European king. He's going to go on to greater things because he's improving all the time. But the opponent was basically nothing, was he? So... Van Elteren seems to be all right, and Pyatt, who's 23, in only his 19th professional fight, is hoisted aloft by George Francis as the new European light middleweight champion. Welcome to our new European champion. Well done, Chris. Thanks a lot, I um, just went out there in the first round just to have a look at him, and I caught him with a good shot. So um, I probably went a bit wild, but I knew he was there for the taking after that. Would you like to have a look at it all again? We can show you, first of all, the first knockdown, which came in a bit of a hurry. Yeah, um, like I said, I was just taking it easy. It's a wild white hand. It wobbled him. You know, I know it wobbled him, so I sort of... He tried to hold on to me, yeah, yeah so I just to stand up, but it sort of wrestled him away. <laughs> Did you know from that moment that it was going to be a quick win for you? No, cos some fighters are at the most dangerous when they're hurt. You know, I sort of... Like I said, I went a bit wild, but, you know, just because you knock a man down don't mean the fight's all over, as you know. It's you know? Uh, a marvellous win, because from the point of view, you thought you were going to fight Saeed Skuma at first, didn't you? So you, you've had to suddenly change all your tactics and come up against a different opponent. Yeah, um, I didn't know lot, anything about him. Um, like I said, I was due to fight Skuma in a week's time. When he pulled out, I was obviously disappointed. But then I got the opportunity to fight for it a week early on the Albert Hall bill. Right, now we're going to show you the winning punch, and this was the big left. Yeah, it's a big left hook. Um, he tried to jab me, and I just slipped to the uh, oh. right hand side. He couldn't straight on the chin. I made it one minute and 38 seconds, which can't be too bad for a European title fight. No, it can't be, can it? <laughs> so everybody at home is going to be delighted about this. Got yeah. any messages for anybody? Um, no, I told him I'd be European champion, and I've done it. Well, you haven't that. One minute and 38. Chris, that was a tremendous performance. Well done. Thank Congratulations. You.